as you guys have seen, Brian's done a lot of custom woodworking in the past several weeks. A lot of joinery work, a lot of precision work. And we're testing out one of the products I know you've seen on TV. <laughs> yeah, it pops up on my uh, YouTube feed all the time. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So. You've seen them, they, they goes around on every little curve and you, and you cut it out. What are they called? Contour, contour, contour gauge, right. contour gauge. So it's actually a gift from one of our favorite viewers, <laughs> Mike O'Donnell, a longtime viewer, a supporter of our channel sent us this gift. And I think he was uh, hinting at Brian to try, <laughs> try to use a precision tool to see if that mm -hmm. would help with uh, the woodworking that he's doing. And he's going to put it to the test. Yeah, in this yeah. video. A lot of people use them for tile when you're doing uh, tile work and you're uh, getting it around, uh, you know, irregular uh, threshold or something like that, mm -hmm. you know, a transition area or something. So yeah. get around the moldings and things like that. Because I think what you've used in the past is just the little a little scribe tool. So right, so, a little. Right, yeah. So I used it, and uh, you'll see, I used it a little more uh, in a more three dimensional role. So. Um, and it, I think it worked out pretty good. So. Yeah. So this is going to be where you uh, use the contour gauge to fit the top railing on the stairs. Right. Right. So a uh, very tricky piece because you're com you were attaching it from a two big round posts together. With right. Yeah. The yeah. tricky part was it was it was sitting in between the big post, the center post of the staircase, and then the railing, and so uh, that was you know trying to find the length. Is almost impossible. You, you can get close measuring, but you know you can't really. Yeah. So I, I kind of got it close and then kind of wedged it in and kind of then worked <laughs> it down to a manageable to the right length. So you can see the profile of it. You've got a nice point on there, so you can get that right on the lines. And in the video, you can see I, I had a, a line for the top of the railing and a line for the bottom of the railing, and so I was able to push right on those lines. To get the contour and you can see it. i mean it contours my thumb mm -hmm. my finger perfectly mm -hmm. so what i just had to do was to hold it nice and level yeah follow the line and then um then i could uh, flip it over and trace it onto the onto the board mm -hmm. so and doesn't it have a lock feature as well like once you get your contour uh you know i didn't even read the instructions oh <laughs> So, but yeah, it right said, there. Yeah, it said that you could lock it. So right. once you get your precision fit, <laughs> you don't want to lose it, screw it up, right. bump it against something so you can flip the lock switch and it holds it in place. Right, so what I did was I just held it, squeezed it. And I just, it's it's pretty firm. There's, there's resistance when you're pushing on it. So I was just careful to not to- Not to drop it. Not to drop it. <laughs> yeah. Got so, lucky, you got lucky in this one. I mean, so. it's, I mean, it's pretty obvious how to use it, but yes. Okay. Yeah, so we'll put it to the test, but thanks, Pop, for the tools. Yeah, we can't we wait to use them more. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely will come in future use as well, so. Yeah. Right side. I'm gonna go like that. Let's see. Need to mark center here, then I can find the same spot on either side. All right, so I got my contour. So that's the top contour. So I want to find the same spot on this side. I'm going to do the same thing, only flip it over, go the opposite direction. Hmm, I think I have to flip over my, and when I stick it on the, and then I flip it over, it'll be the right way. So I want to get this edge with my mark from the other side here. I'm going to eyeball it. 
It's only two and five eighths thickness, so I'm not gonna worry about the taper. So I'm gonna put this edge here on my mark from here, and then this edge along here. And then I know where I'm stopping over here. Appears to be as perpendicular as possible. All right. And then just double check they both go the same direction, right? <laughs> So I don't have the bottom going this way and the top going, or the top going that way. All right, so I've got my contour, or scribe, I should say. This will be the uh, post end. And then I've got, I've got my scribe on the railing side. And it goes all the way around that side. So what I'm gonna do now is use a utility knife and mark everything.
the most gratifying part of the whole project. It goes right together real quick. <laughs> And so this was the product, and we're going to put a link to it on, in the video description so you can check it out. But it actually came with two sizes. So there's like the 6-inch, and it looks like the 12-inch size. So right, if you're so doing like around a bigger corner or something. And these are probably six, these are probably a 32nd of an inch thick. So mm -hmm. you get a real uh, pretty even contour, you know. So what did you think of the Varsk, the Varsk contour gauge? Is it just a piece of plastic junk or what? <laughs> Yes. No, I, I think it would definitely come in handy. I, it really helped to get close uh, the contours that I needed for both the post and the railing. Uh, I still, once I had this um, cut out, I still used the scribe a little bit to get the, the more detail work, just because I was going in, in different dimensions. You know, it was in two different axes mm -hmm. uh, when I was using it, so... Um, they both came in handy. Yeah. That way. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, well, what were the, you know, with the tool itself, if you can talk about it in depth, like how does it actually work? And it, It's really a smooth contour. So when you, when you trace your line onto your product, onto your, uh, your material, you get a nice transition. So mm -hmm. I can see you using this for the shower job. Yeah, exactly. Maybe even the closet. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. We see bright orange. We're breaking <laughs> them out from future videos. So overall, you did the orange first, and then you followed up with the scribe. To right, do this got me real close to the shapes that I needed, and then mm -hmm. I actually had it. It was too long, so I had it wedged in place, and then I could get back and get a little closer detail. Because mm -hmm. um, I had to go all the way around it. So. Okay. Um, so it's still handy to have your old-fashioned tools, but it definitely made quick work using the, right. the Vars Contour Fitter. Cool. Sure. Well, awesome. Well, awesome. hope you guys enjoyed. And if you've, if you've used one of these, let us know and what you think of it. But definitely has helped Brian out with this project and our custom railing. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye, guys. See you next time.